Okay, YouTube, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress 2014 with the Flying Fent. This is Rock Gates episode number 17, maybe? 17, yes. It is indeed 17. Uh, I've, I've done some planning, as I said I would. The um, cisterns slash wells slash water sources have been planned out. Let's come down to our river here. So we are one level, oh, sorry, one level below the river, just uh, upstream from the bridge here. And this is where we're going to access the water. It's going to flow down this path, then go down a couple of levels of stairs, and then finally into a system of cisterns. Um, now, I have had problems. I don't think we've seen in any of my previous videos, uh, any of my la other playthroughs. I don't think we've seen this problem. But I have had problems in the past where um, water gets contaminated. So what I did this time is I built myself... Uh, a series of, I guess you'd call them baffles, just a series of cisterns. We've got one, two, three, four cisterns here, each one denoted by this channel. They're each two Z levels deep. And just ignore all the other stuff for now, let's just focus on these. And the reason for that is that, let's say this water gets contaminated, right? We'll be able to drain it out from here, put purge it out, clean or do whatever we need to do to, to restore this cistern to proper functioning order. And then, um, Go ahead and refill it. And in the meantime, we will still have some other cisterns available that we can fill from. And that and that's the catch, right? It, it takes a long time for water to come in from that river. And I'd like to have baffles that I can use to then kind of spread out and distribute my water in a much more even space. The only concern I have actually is that I, maybe these should be two gaps? Because in here I was going to put um, floodgates, but if the floodgates get dirty, we can't deconstruct the floodgates to replace the flood. I guess we could, right? I guess we could. It would be a lot of work. We'd have to drain both sides, which is fine, then deconstruct. Because the thing is, all these are going to be constructed walls, right? So that you can deconstruct them and then rebuild them if they ever get contaminated, which does mean that we actually need uh, a little bit of a buffer. Flood oh yeah, the floodgates would go here. That would give us our buffer. Floodgates are here. Two sets of foot. Hang on, give me a second to think now. Yeah, we, we can make it work. In any case, um, I'll worry about it if the time comes. I doubt we'll even need to worry about it, but it's fine. And then down on the bottom level, this is where everything's going to get kind of, if we need to purge, we'll purge on this level. So we'll have some floodgates built here and ready to go in case we need them, but we won't bother digging the, the, the route to purge the water from it until we actually need it just to save ourselves a little bit of time. Um, and of course, this is also going to be the access shaft to go ahead and remove anything that's down here. We want to get all the rocks and stuff out here as well. So we're going to need an access shaft for that, and that's going to go through here as well, which will come down through the stairway there that you see and through this little tunnel up to here. Now here we have, again, just access shaft. It's going to lead us along the way. Everywhere you see these one little dugout sections, these are all just going to be for levers. So for example, this lever, if we go down, will control these floodgates here. And this lever over here will control these floodgates here, connecting the baffles. So they're kind of, there's going to be levers put in places that make sense, so I have to ever try and figure out where they are. Uh, then as you reach either end, you're going to have kind of a little bit of a section like this where there's kind of two areas and then a, a channeled out bit. This is where we're going to use a screw pump. Again, it probably overkill here because we're using a river which is probably fresh water and in fact we could check if it's fresh water and not salt water. I'm pretty sure it's fresh water though. I'm gonna exit there. Yeah, it's not it's not salt water or anything. Uh, but you know, for those maybe who are new to the game or who don't you know don't know a lot about water, they're building cisterns for the first time. I thought we would use uh, a screw pump. Plus, it you know uh, recruits. We can put recruits in the as our water pumpers, and that will build up their strength really quickly. So basically, the the screw pump would go here. It will pump from one level below. So uh, here's the the the, ta the ta two tiles of the screw pump will be here. The blank tile in front of it will lead down to the water, it will pump up from here, spit it out the back. It's not actually there yet, but there will be a, 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 um, a dugout just like that, right? Oh, hang on, I've got to go. Just like that right there. I don't have it in yet because this is how I know what I'm doing. Uh, from there, it will channel down and then go into, again, a series of baffles for some cisterns over here. This is, of course, our plans for levels above, so I didn't want to disturb that, and we haven't. 
you know, we have some idea what's going on. And in fact, just to clarify, I'm just going to do this so I know not to dig that out. But again, we've got a baffled system of, of cisterns. This way, if for whatever reason, one gets this one gets contaminated, let's say, which is the one there are wells. There's going to be four little wells here. This is the one that our wells are actually going to access. Um, this will be able to will be able to kind of purge this out again and then refill it from the others. Now these are deeper uh, because it helps prevent stagnant water and whatnot. The deeper you are, the better off. So these are a little bit deeper, but I've got you know we're going to have passageways on all sides to deal with that. Uh, so that's the well system over there. Over here, it's very similar. You can see we've got you know screw pumps going to go here. We have a blank section that's going to feed down and pump out of here, uh, and then it's going to pump along here and into our our baffled cistern and set up again. And then again, we have kind of access hatches here to get in and out, and then this is where the exit will be if we ever need to purge it. So, um, you know, it's a fairly complicated setup. It's definitely overkill for what we need, but that's fine. Uh, the other thing that we were going to get working on was our metal industry. We've actually already dug it out. The metal industry is going to be going over... Oh shoot, I guess I need to dig out those two. I need to dig out these two spaces as well for that. And then dig out and then get the stuff dumped out of here. I wouldn't mind cleaning out, uh, getting all this stuff hauled as well so that we can get it out of the way. Uh, get all that stone and ore out of the way. So that's what we need to take care of this episode is get a bunch of this dug. Now, priorities. For me, I know I said my priority was going to be to dig my cisterns, but since they're... Since the, the metal is almost ready, let's go ahead and do the metal first. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to come down here and remove this loom. We don't need it anymore. So we will slate it for removal. Then let's go ahead and dump everything. Now this may cause us some issues with this now being slated to dump. It isn't. Good. Okay. And then up here we want to dump all of this stuff as well. And I might as well get rid of these while we're here. There we go, dump all of that. And for our miners, I'm going to want to get this all dug out. Did I not? Oh, I hit remove melt. That's not what I want at all. I wanted this toggle. Yes, that is what I wanted. Remove that stuff and remove these. Got that, 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 good. This is going to be for soapers. You know what? We might as well get this going as well. We're going to want soap at some point sooner rather than later, and this was going to be for clothing. We're going to need to get that going. This was going to be for leather. Okay, so we got a bunch of jobs queued. We can let them go. I did have, what did I have? Something that I had planned over here, I have toggled to actually dig, and I just want to, oh, that. And that's fine because it's not connected to anything. Uh, yep, good. All right, so let's unpause and let everything continue here. So this level is one down. So this will be smelters. Yeah. Oh, I never did the... Let's dump the... What has the most this level does? Let's just put them right here. That seems like it's kind of middle of the road type area. So garbage dump right there. Right? It is there? It is there. So again, we're going to have a lot of work to do, so we're just going to kind of let things go for a minute. Did this ever get hooked up? It absolutely did. Good. So all the leaves are connected, the roof's in, the ramp is removed, so we can literally shut ourselves up. Fantastic. I love it. This is all indoors now, so let's go ahead actually and resize a meeting hall now that it can take up all of the space. There we go. Meeting hall, yes. Good. And this lever has a repeated pull. Fantastic. Good, good, good. I wonder, actually. No. 
Forget what I was thinking. It's irrelevant. Doesn't matter. I've thought better of it. Now this stuff needs to get dumped as well. And uh, we have a lot of hauling and that's our priority right now is hauling, so let's get our miners. Why don't they have four miners? There's the fifth one. Let's get all of our miners on hauling duty. It shouldn't take too long to get through all the hauling with everybody doing it, so... Oh, sorry about that. Let's throw that back up there. There we go. See, I shouldn't take too long with everybody doing it. You can see most of it is, is, is done or in the process of being done, so... I know that more dump jobs will be created as things get dumped, but still, the, the fact is a lot of them are being done, so it won't take too long at all. Oh, and we got new migrants, didn't we? And I didn't even... Did I check the new ones? I don't know if I did. I feel like I didn't, because I feel like I would have noticed a... ridiculously good stone crafter. To become our new stone crafter. Oh, actually, you know what? He probably just... That's the guy who just had the strange mood, isn't it? That's what happened there. Stone detailer is still working on his detailing. Yeah, these I think these are all people we'd already been through. Yeah, we dealt with them for sure. Now that I think about it. Uh, they do need rooms though, don't they? They don't have... Where do we leave off? None of those got done, but these got done, right? Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and give our newcomers some rooms. Gotta make sure I don't get any kids in this mix here. Woodcrafter, good. A farmer. Whatever, it's out of order, but that's fine. A miner. I'll start at the bottom again. Let me just double check, because it looks like I've only got one kid, and that doesn't make sense, does it? Child. I mean, it's possible, but it seems unlikely. No, we really only have one kid. Wow. I think we might have gotten another one in this load. Herbalist. Furnace operator. Blacksmith. Wax worker, last page, farmhand, leather worker. Oh, I thought I had all I needed, but I guess not. Lime maker, shearer. How many more do I need? I need one, two, three, four, five, six more beds, six more rooms. Well, we might as well just uh, get all these beds set up. back for it since I have to exit completely. Okay, now where's that one goofy bed? There we go. Let's get a door set up. Here, and a door here, and a door here, and that will allow us to designate this now as our dormitory. There's some people sleeping in those beds anyway, now it's official that they can sleep in those beds. Good, it's coming along. Very pleased with that. Three wheelbarrows there, three wheelbarrows there, good. Stuff is full. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize they'd already done it. That was fast. Uh, 
Not the child. Oh, and someone was married, so that took the burden off a little bit as well. And just the traders left now. Of course, he's not a trader here. Here he's just a generic hauler. All right, so almost all that dumping is done. So let's get started then on this. Best way is probably going to be to come out here and down. Uh, and then we'll start by digging this access area. Oh, I better be careful how I do that there. There we go. I suppose, I mean, this can't... Is that a fine way to do this? And through that channel we could access this if we wanted to I suppose but I don't think that's necessarily the best way to do it um, might be best to start here and work our way up yeah I feel like that's gonna be the way to do it so let's get that dug out as well so that's a fair bit of digging uh, a lot of it's gonna be sand though so that shouldn't take too long and actually that reminds me, let's get our miners not hauling. Now that we've got that set up, are we sorted by name? We are. There we go. Miners are no longer hauling. So it'll take a minute, because there's not a lot of space for them to dig, but pretty soon they should be able to all get going. There we go. Yeah, they could all they could all mine now if they needed to. Let's stick a door in here right off the bat as well. Okay, now we did buy all those ropes and we still don't have those traction tables, right? So let's get that going. Then you go down to the level actually to get to my mechanic. Here we go. Um, now, this is giving to the Mechanics Workshop. Is this still giving to Mechanics Workshop? I need to go up another one. And another one. Are you still giving to Mechanics Workshop? You are. Do you have tables? I don't see any tables. Dang it! Why are there no tables? Why, why you don't have tables? What about my... Carpenter, are you making more tables? You are not. According to that, we have ten. Are they all sitting here? They're all sitting here. Uh, do they have task assigned? They don't. So this would probably be okay. What do you need? Oh, but they're not in the stockpile, so we can't do it. Oh, this is frustrating. I know it's all my own doing. You don't have to tell me. I'm well aware. Now there was, um, notes. You could add notes. I want to place a note here. Name. Main gate. No, main... I guess we can call it gate, right? Main gate. Front gate? Front main gate. Now let's put one over here. Okay, weird. Place one here. Name it. This is a uh, danger room. So now we need to know what the levers are. They tell us. Front main gate, danger room. Um, these ones are straightforward, so I'm not going to name them. But we might end up with a fair number of levers here in our dining hall, so we definitely want to make sure that is set up. Uh, and look at that, all the smoothing got done. So let's go ahead and have our smoother do all the rest of it. Since he did such a fantastic job. And I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do this time. Burn. Oh, we've hit some damp stone. Did I consider that? I did. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're still fine. Do you have damp stone over here? No. We hit more damn stone. Over here? Where do 
we hit damn stone this time? Oh, down here? Uh, it was just the one, I believe. Yeah. So it all got done. Alright. Next. Would I like to do the top level of these? I think that's probably the next best thing to do. So all the channeling. And that thing. These things here. We'll all get done. Next priority, sure, that sounds good. Um, should we get stone? Oh, all the dumping is done. Right? Yes. So, we probably don't have any stone left for these guys, so let's reclaim, hide it, and then remove the dump site. Good. Okay, so now we got to get these up and running. First thing on this level is going to be the smelter. So here we want ore. There we go. Move, move, move in. And initially, I want to get iron. Right? And just iron? Is that what we want to start with is iron? I think so. So let's start with iron. Um, I forget what. Hematite, limonite, magnetite. Hematite, limonite. I forget which one that we have, but let's just say take all of them. Hematite, limonite, magnetite. Okay. Now we need another stockpile. It's going to be wood. And this is going to be for wood burning, but yeah, wood. I don't know why I entered that. So we need to build a furnace. Furnace, there we go. Wood furnace. How many wood burners do we have allocated? Let me bring this back over here. Wood burners, wood burners, wood burners. I feel like none. Of oh, right. Haulers were going to be wood burners. That was my thinking, because whatever. They got nothing else to do anyway, right? So, wood furnace there, out of, um, microcline. Yes, use the ugly blue stuff, yeah. Wood furnace here, out of microcline, and a wood furnace here, out of microcline. Good. Then, I need a... Another wood furnace. No, I need smelters, I think. Out of Gabbro Block, yep. Smelter out of Gabbro Block. And a smelter out of Gabbro Block. Okay, now this, how many wheelbarrows do you have set? One. I would rather you have three. There we go. Here's my concern. I don't think I have anywhere near enough smelters and whatnot. I feel like I should have six smelters. And I should have six wood burners. That's what I think. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, 
so this would be stone again. Then we want hematite, lamanite, and magnetite. Furnace smelters. This is a highly ineffective way of orienting them actually. Let's, you know, let, let's be smart about this. Uh, stone, let's orient them this way. Although I guess it really doesn't matter actually because I have these stairs here, but whatever. It'll still be fine. So smelters. Gabbro block, smelter, Gabbro block. Smelter. Gabbro block. Okay. Wood stockpile then. There and here. Beep boop boop. Cut across. I want none there. Oop. There we go. So I did say wood, right? Wood and wood? Yeah, okay, good. Build furnace, wood furnace. There we go. I feel much better about this. And I'll make them out of Gabbro blocks. So wood furnace, Gabbro blocks. Wood furnace. Oh crap, I moved everything. Wood furnace, Gabbro blocks. Wood furnace, Gabbro blocks. Wood furnace, Gabbro blocks. And one more wood furnace made out of gabbro blocks. Okay. Okay. Um, then. as I rack my brain to figure this out. We're gonna do a stockpile bar block here. And this is only gonna have Um, coal. Yeah. And because to make charcoal, we use wood and we also need, yeah. So I, what I'd like to do, this will be like my emergency reserve, oh crap, I keep hitting the thing, of charcoal as well, block all coal. And this one will give to this one. So I wanna keep this stockpile full. This is the priority charcoal, charcoal stockpile. Um, it is going to feed this. This is also going to feed that, but it's also going to feed this. Oh, it's also going to feed this. It's also going to feed this. This is going to feed these three. This is going to feed these three. This is going to feed these three. This one will feed all of these. It's going to take a while to set up. But it's important to do this, right? If you want to make sure that you're smelting 
the right metals and not just using whatever random things for anything. I'm also going to feed that. Okay. Yeah. Although I guess we do tell it what type of metal to smelt, so it's kind of a moot point, isn't it? But whatever, it's set up now, so there's no reason to go back. It's much more important with the um, with the forges. It was bugging me that nothing was centered again, because I'd been moving around too much. So the forges would go on this level. Uh, f forge. What is a forge? Where can I find you, Mr. Forge? Oh, it's probably in a workshop, isn't it? Workshop and then forge? Yep. Hmm, and there's the problem. We only have iron anvils. Okay. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to build one forge. And its sole job is going to be to make steel anvils to start with. Now it is going to take a while for all this to get done, but again, that's fine. We have other tasks to work on. Grab your dwarves, grab your beer. There's a party coming here. <laughs> Did I want them doing this thing next? This is what I told them to do, right? Yes, I did. And channel themselves down? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. I, I was panicking for a minute, but this is exactly what I wanted them to do. Not entirely, actually, now that I think about it. I want them to do the outside ones for now. But not the inside ones, because otherwise I won't be able to keep track of where what's going to go. Or well, actually, I probably would be able to. I probably would be able to. It's not rocket science. Um, did we ever... Did I not say that we're going to want stone rock floodgates as well? Oh, that's right. Then I realized there was no rocks here, and I thought, what's rock? We can't do anything. But we have enough rock blocks, which is good, finally. So let's add rock floodgate. Repeat. Workflow, uh, add a limit, any rock, yep, range, we're going to need a fair bit of them here where we are, so let's just say 30 to 50 for now, I suspect we're running a stone long before we get there, How are these workshops coming, is this being architected, oh no, it's being built, outstanding, have these already been built? Everything, the wood furnaces have not, because I don't think I have anybody on wood burning duty. But again, that's an easy fix because the goal is to have all of these people be wood burners. Which I believe is furnace operating? No. That is for smelting. All these people are going to be wood burners, and they're also all going to be smelters. It's not going to be the most efficient way to do it, but it will guarantee that there's always someone doing the, these jobs. Ooh, did you see that? Masterpiece cat intestine biscuits. Oh, doesn't that sound delicious? Go for some biscuits right now, made out of cat intestine. Oh, and I actually want... No bins, no bins. Why does this have a bin? Oh, right, because this is bar block stockpile. dun dun dun, -dun. First wood furnace was built. Excellent. So all the wood furnaces here are going to make charcoal on repeat. On repeat. Those aren't done yet, so that's fine. But let's go ahead and get these jobs protected. We're going to need lots of charcoal, so we'll keep a bunch of it. There you go. Someone's already making charcoal. Fantastic. And then as new ones get built, we will just queue them up to work. I'm 
go. One more to go. Good. You did put the coal down here, right? I saw you moving it. You didn't. Where are you guys putting the coal? Oh, we... Where are they putting the coal? Someone come haul some coal for me. Okay, this guy is moving coal. Where is he moving it to? He went down the stairs there, or up the stairs here potentially. Oh, I have bar blocks in here too, don't I? I do. Oh, and we have our... Gabbro blocks going in here too, don't we? Well, that has to get turned off for sure. Stone, where's the Gabbro? And then... Coal, no. And then in here. Stone, where's the Gabbro? There, and then coal, no. So now, where are they going to move the coal to? Because charcoal is a form of coal, by the way, for those who might be a little unsure there about how that works. Okay, he's taking it to that stair. Did he go down? He did. He put it in that box. Good. But now the priority should be to move it. Ah. Wrong button. You are giving to bar block stockpile number 32, which is this one. Good. Do you have anything in here yet? You do not. Now it does. Okay. This wood is good. Okay, good. So now we can make charcoal. Because now he will use charcoal to make the wood as opposed to using wood. You know what I mean? It's more efficient to burn the charcoal as the fuel source. As opposed to using a piece of wood for the fuel. So now that we got charcoal going, we should be able to um, keep charcoal as our supply instead of wood. Which is fantastic. Alright, how's the mining going? Because we're at like 38 minutes already. Because once again, I am an idiot and have lost track of time. Are you trapped? You're totally not trapped. There's a ramp. There's no ramp out. You guys are all trapped, aren't you? Well, that was really stupid of me. So let's give you guys a way out. We will give you a way out. But it's important to note here that we actually want to remove the whole outer wall here as well to replace it with a built wall. Because again, if this was salt water or contaminated water or whatever, um, it can't touch anything natural. It can only touch built things. Same thing where you have to put a floor down, but that's all stuff that we'll get to for now. Let's just make sure our guys can get out. Which they will do very quickly here. Oh, and that reminds me, we do actually have to connect these to get them out. So this first guy's out. Actually, let's go ahead and set a priority one dig along here. It's only one wide, so it's going to take a while to get through. Only one guy can dig at a time, but this will make sure that is the priority. That they kind of make that their number one goal. And this way no one will be trapped for long. That guy's thirsty. Don't worry, buddy. You're almost out. Free at last. So no one is stuck anymore. Let's, uh, what, what's going on? There we go. Remove, we want to remove these ramps and whatnot. So let's take care of that. There we go. I think this guy's coming to bring somebody water. Some poor thirsty dwarf is going to get fed. Or, or given 
This buck is just going to get left behind, I'm sure of it. I don't know where he's going with this bucket. Yeah, just got left behind. Saw that coming. You jerk. So I'm going to get this done so I can show you what the plan is here. Alright, so we we'll want to build walls. Here, Gabro blocks, yep. Here, Gabro blocks, yep. Here, Gabro blocks, yep. Here, Gabro blocks, and then here, out of Gabro. Is this gonna remove the whole wall now that I've queued up? No. Although I did accidentally remove this thing. Uh, and because the. God damn it, I just moved that same spot. Because the corners can sometimes be dumb. Let's make sure they get done. Oh. There we go. Now let's put this piece back finally. And not remove it again. There we go. Uh, and then we're also going to need to put in a floor. Like so. Of Gabbro blocks. Did I miss them? Oh, what did I... I did not do that properly. Now from here we should be able to remove most of this stuff. Because I don't know which ones were not Gabbro block, I've got to remove all of them. It's too bad you can't do a block select for this, huh? Make life easy. Do, 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 removing construction because I was hasty and did not read everything. I find that's a common trend for me. I do like to rush. Remember, when you rush, that's when accidents happen. Okay. Try this again. Gabbro blocks. Am I out of Gabbro blocks? Sure looks like it, eh? Well, we'll have to make some more Gabbro blocks then. But you can see what we're doing. We're, we're surrounding everything. Now, we're going to have to do it with these four cisterns. We're also going to have to do that with these cisterns. We're going to have to do it with these cisterns, so we're going to need a lot of uh, a lot of building mechanisms. But really, at this point, we have nothing stopping us from doing that. We have uh, lots of time to get that done. These won't be removed by the removal of walls, so I might as well remove them manually. Nor will these, so I might as well ditch them manually. There we go. So I'm wait. As soon as these are all dug out, we're getting the episode because we're at like 45 minutes again. I had been doing better for quite a while, and now I seem to be doing crappy again. Hope that bucket gets moved to storage at some point. There's a lot of storing to be done, so it's going to take a while, but it should get to it eventually.
just occurred to me we don't need some of these walls. As soon as it's done, we'll, I'll show you what I mean here. Since these are all going to be dug out, we don't need that, 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 or that either. And we are going to need to make this built wall as well. Stray kitten has been found dead. Really? Where? Well, good. That's what you get, kitten. Don't be going into the danger room. That's my advice to you. Find that out, please. There we go. So then let's go ahead and put this in. Gabbro block, yep. And over here. Gabbro block, yep. And then we can do this now because that got in. Gabbro block. It's here. Gabbro block. With the corners being done, we can afford to do that. Fair bit of building going on. Alright, I was supposed to end this episode, but I don't want to. I want to keep playing. Mind you, it is getting late here. I don't want to keep my landlord up, so I should end it. But I don't want to. But I should. We must have enough block left to do this, right? Yeah. I don't know why that was left. Um, and if we put... I was just thinking here as I'm while I'm on the train I thought I want to finish it I know I'm gonna end the episode but I'm just trying to check yeah so what I'll do is I think I will put the um, floodgates here in this area here I could put them here as well right have like a flush area but I think I'll put them here it buys just it's a little bit extra fresh water for whatever it's worth um, but yeah so we gotta finish this room we gotta do this one I'll probably leave it at that I won't do these middle two quite yet um, we will do definitely the floodgates in here, as well as the floodgates over here, uh, so that we can actually start filling these while we work on everything else. Uh, that's why I wanted to get these kind of in-between walls done. Um, but yeah, we'll do these two, then we will do like the hospitals one, and again I'll probably... I guess that won't work. I was going to say I'll do the first one and then ignore the rest, but I guess that won't work. What we could do, though, is like do this one first, and then if all this is done, we can start flooding it before we do the others, and then the same thing over on this side. That's going to be the priority for these, is to kind of move in that way. Uh, and the nice thing, too, is that all of this can be done internally, inside the fort. So even if for whatever reason we get attacked and we have no choice but to shut ourselves inside, it's no big deal. We'll be just fine. We will be just fine, because we're survivors that's what we are. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. It really does help me out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. For now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.